Hi guys, it's Ray. Today we are starting on a new tumbler. This one we are going to do a scrapbook paper wrap on the tumbler. Um, this is scrapbook cardstock. This is pretty heavy, so it's going to take a little bit of effort to get it on here. Um, I have a 30 ounce thick I'm going to work on so I can utilize as much as possible. So I cut the 12 by 12 down to fit the cup. Trim the top and trim the edge. I do want to leave a little silver because this is going to have Mod Podge. And then I have this piece of coordinating paper. This is from the same set. Um, so I'm going to use some part of this somewhere. Like I think I'm going to take here or here. I haven't decided how much of it I want to use as a wrap. So, um... And, you know, I might use a couple of these little embellishment pieces cut out on it. So, this is all I'm going to use. It's going to be complete scrapbook paper, except for maybe the bottom is going to get glitter or just painted. I haven't decided which yet. So, I'm going to get started. First thing I'm going to do is Mod Podge the cup. I'm going to pay more attention to the top seam than the bottom as I wrap. I mean, this should slide around a little bit, but I want to make sure. I don't have Mod Podge on the bottom, so I can kind of manipulate from the bottom of the cup. I want to make sure I leave that silver line. And this is going to immediately start sticking. So you do have to be kind of um, careful. So that's good and lined up. This meets up. So I'm just going to kind of make sure I don't have any big bubbles and work them out. I do have a pretty good bubble right there, so I'm going to lift this. I do kind of want the whole thing slid down a little bit more. That is wrapped. I don't have any bubbles. I'm going to lift this up and get a line of Mod Podge under the seam here. And I'm going to stick all of that down good. Okay, so that's on, that'll dry fine. I'm going to put a full coat over the top, and I'm going to do probably this coat that you're going to watch me do. I'm going to come back and do one more coat, and while that's drying, I'm going to pick what I want to use of this on this, because I'm going to integrate this into that third coat, most likely. So...
Okay, so as I mentioned in yesterday's video, um, I ran out of my Mod Podge hard coat, so I have switched to my gloss Mod Podge, which hopefully I won't run out of before I'm done with these cups. Um, but I do want to mention that I did mess these up a little bit. I mentioned this in yesterday's video. When you're doing Mod Podge on paper, it's going to soak into the paper. It's going to make the paper wrinkle. I really should have done a much thinner coat to put the paper on and I should have let that dry before I did the top coat because some places are absolutely flawless and some of them I have these little wrinkles. Um, I'm just going to keep moving on um, because it's not going to be perfect. I will put a cheat glitter over top which is going to hide some of these imperfections. So, I have these three little bits I cut out, and I think I'm just going to apply them this way. I was kind of trying to decide how I wanted to pattern them. I am a big believer in the rule of three. I think a grouping of odds is much more pleasing to the eye, and I didn't have five that I liked. I only had four. And to me, four becomes awkward and too symmetrical. So for me, I'm just going to stick with these three. I cut off this strip that just says it's a good day to be happy because it'll go with this be happy. So I'm going to apply that, I think, somewhere towards the bottom. And then I cut a strip of the gold and a strip of the gold for the top and the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and just get started applying these. Okay, so I realized I left this cup at a half a thought yesterday and that I didn't address the bottom yet. So what I was going to say about the striping on this stripe was I had intended, this is the piece I cut off, I had intended to leave the gold up to this piece of like trim and I didn't. So I was kind of thinking about going in with nail tape and adding some more gold, but I think I'm just going to leave it alone. Um, but everything else is trimmed in gold, so I'm going to think on it a minute. But in the meanwhile, I've already done yesterday's cup, so I have everything out and ready to go for this. I have some blue paint mixed in some Mod Podge, and I'm going to use that to base the bottom. And I don't know if you can hear that. It doesn't want to do it now. I do believe this cup is 
Um, it's either got something under the football, between the cup and the football, or it's got a rattle inside that, once again, until I started moving it around, I didn't hear. So, lovely. That happens occasionally. Sometimes it means the seal is broken. Sometimes it simply means that there's a little metal shaving in there. So, if this cup were to be sellable when it's finished, I would have to test that first and make it known before I sold it to a customer. So, I'm going to let this dry, get another coat on it, get the cup the rest of the way sealed, and then I will be back for the epoxy. And if I pinstripe it, I will show you that I went ahead and pinstriped it when I get to that point. Okay, so I am ready to get the resin on this. I already have a cup here that I used for yesterday's tumbler because I'm finishing them kind of in tandem to one another. So I'm just getting some resin in that cup because it's going to get the same thing. It's going to get the tiniest little sprinkling of the five star fleet that we used on the bottom from It's Pretty Personal. And I mean, it's tiny. And then it is going to get some of the perfect white diamond dust from It's Pretty Personal. You know, like that much. I still have epoxy on this glove, so I'm trying not to really, really touch anything. And I have my stir stick that I used on the last one, so I will recycle that. I just worked these two in tandem because it was so much easier than splitting them up, so. I think overall it came out super cute. I'm pretty pleased with it. So, bring it up a little bit. You can watch it come around, those little stickers. It just says, be happy, and it's a good day to be happy, is what that belly band says. And, you know, just a blue base. So, that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.